Good morning. My blog this morning is a story of my own father being saved from death in World War II in Italy. He had followed Rommel with Patton's forces up through Africa and into Italy, up the boot to a place called Monte Cassino, where in the siege he was hit by a German 88 millimeter artillery shell. He was found in a crater underneath a jeep by his battery sergeant. That sergeant commandeered a jeep, tied a white flag on it, and drove through the German lines without being stopped to a British field hospital where treatment began a voyage on a care ship across the ocean back home for six months in hospital with 18 operations. I came to know that my father had been injured, totally disabled in the war, shrapnel throughout his body, but he was able to work The war had steeled him, made him stronger in many ways, but also made him angry against the Germans, unforgiving, something that he did not give up until near his death when he came to know Christ personally as his Lord and Savior. But I don't know what that was like for him. He never described it in great detail. A lot of this I heard from Colonel McGillis, who was my brigade commander when I also was with the 32nd Division, the group my father had been with. What an amazing thing. This was no happenstance. No, God had planned this, and Colonel McGillis told me the story of bravery and fear. We are saved from death from time to time. My writings include stories of going to Alaska with a friend and through the Yukon and Alaska some six times. There were death-defying accidents, incidents, trials, with airplane crashes, waterfalls, grizzly bears, axes, many things happened, and God saved me through them all to continue on. I write about tick diseases when faculty of a world-renowned medical center and medical school said, you're going to die from this. They didn't know what it was. And yet God miraculously healed me as I prayed the 103rd Psalm. God heals us of our diseases, it says in Psalms 103. He pulls us out of the pit. He pulls our life out of the pit and fills us with his love and compassion. He takes us from death. Psalm 23 says, And even though we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we are to fear no evil. For he is with us, his rod and staff comfort us. He sets a table before our enemies. In other words, a banquet. An image before our enemies, our trials, those things that would destroy us. An image that we will be nourished, filled through it. That doesn't mean we won't be hurt. You see, Satan can hurt us. Satan can cause evil to happen and bring us to a place, even a physical death. But with our faith, this Advent season, our faith this Advent season to the soon and coming Christ, a child, yes, born in a manger, yes, but born to save the people who are walking in darkness, as Isaiah talks about it. They've seen a great light. That, that light is Christ. 
He is from the beginning. He is timeless. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, he is the same, and he has been there, and he is the word, the living word, through whom we find life. His word, his living word, is scripture. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Speaking of Jesus Christ, who is the living word of God, into us, illuminated, made known by made known to us by the Holy Spirit. May we know the power of that Spirit. May we know and be saved so that we will live eternally, even though we may die. This is the message of Advent. This is the message of Christmas. This is the message of Easter because he has risen and therefore he has conquered death and those who trust in him have too. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas as we begin this season together. Amen.